Ignite Your Purpose 113, we talk longevity through a healthy lifestyle. It's a mix, the mental, physical, and the spiritual knowledge, mind, body, soul, trifecta. It's our way of saying negative to positive each and every day. So uh, thanks for tuning in. Thank you all for listening. We see the numbers steadily picking up one by one by one, and we, uh, we do appreciate that. Um, so today's show, almost the last thought from Malta. Um, I'm just going to throw this subject, this idea in. I've got a few notes written down, see what Max has got to say. And then hopefully by the end of the show, we'll give you a uh, something to work on for your own uh, particular thought processes. So Max, I think fear is a sign that you're doing what is needed to grow in the right direction. You're, you're basically taking on things that scare you because it's a step forward, a step outside of your comfort zone. So what do you have to say on that, sir? Uh, yeah, that is a perfect statement, actually. It is 100% true. In my 10 years, John, um, it's something I struggle with every day still. And I know you know me personally, and I know we talk behind the scenes a lot. And probably in the last two to three months, I've made some major decisions um, to get out of my reptilian brain, which mm -hmm. is that same repeated program I've been doing, you know, since back in the day of being yeah. alone at my, on my own at 16, kicked out of the house, that immigrant mentality, and I'm still trying to change it. But to feel alive in the belief in the spiritual realm that I'm in, which is Soto Zen, is that every day you move closer to and you know you're fulfilling your purpose when you are teetering on the edge of fear. When you step into the unknown, you are actually beginning to live. Because when we're living in our comfort zone, we're actually in our own self-built matrix, you know, safe in our house with our, you know, pillow and our hot chocolate and we're, we're happy, but there's no growth there. And for us to grow, which is why we're here on earth, yeah. right to evolutionarily grow and spiritually grow and then just mentally grow uh we have to do things that challenge us we have to do things that put us into that state of fear i don't mean fear is in running from a saber-toothed tiger but i mean things that we mentally have to overcome that's how we grow and i've also spoken to you about this currently all the ongoings like tonight there's another i mean you might have had it last night but the full moon yeah. Another one that's the, you know, the third in a row. There's all these things happening which are pushing us evolutionary-wise towards that fear, towards things that we are uncomfortable with for our own evolution, yeah. each and every one of us. Uh, that's where I sit with that, John. What do you think? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Another great show. We'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs> It's something I struggle with, though, man. Like, I know I can spit it out there. Like, uh, it's easy as one, two, three, brother, but it is far from easy. And John knows this. Behind the scenes, you know, when it comes to businesses, when it comes to our security blankets, actually removing that security blanket, which I'm yeah. in the, about the second or third month right now, man. It's, it's amazing, the growth and everything I've experienced, but there's also a part of me that's still attached, right? If we're a boat... And I'm, you know, sailing out towards sea. I almost feel like I'm okay. I'm out to sea, but I can still throw it back if I had to. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's so much easier said than done, which is why so of us, so many of us, choose not to go into fear. Yeah. Well, that um, the, the word you used, you used the word security blanket or safety blanket, and um, I, I don't even think we mark time in that position. I think we kind of de-evolve backwards because we stop using our brains and processing and learning and growing. It's, uh, so I think that's going backwards. But um, I've just been thinking about fear a lot over the last few days whilst I've been here. And I've struggled with it my whole life. Still, to this day, I struggle with come up with some pretty, pretty special business plans, business ideas, We've got this, we've got the skills, we've got the tools, we've got the money if that's required to set it up, and it's not always about money. And it's just the, the fear of what if, what if, what if, what if. And um, I think most of us use it to retreat. As soon as it 
fear pops up, we uh, we use that to step away. We we kind of give ourselves uh, the, the the danger of time. I've got to call the boss. Uh, I've got to apply for this promotion at work. I've got to do whatever it is. And rather than stepping straight into it, we 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 slot in time and time. I think is is the fuel of fear. The more time you give something, the more you still there, buddy. I'm here. Yeah. The, the the more time you give fear, the more it grows and grows and grows and becomes bigger. Rather than uh, rather than kind of taking action in that moment, sort of requiring pr preparation to the nth degree for x y and z you know or saying well he's a man or he's been in meetings all day or he's got he's, he's been on the phone all morning and we, we create these excuses to feed our fear to stop us stepping into the breach and ultimately if and maybe if this is the takeaway and it's similar to when we spoke about I was speaking to my niece about this. Whenever you have a negative thought in your brain, within 60 seconds or 90 seconds, I want to hear three positives. Whether that is, isn't the blue sky incredible today or woke up. Got my health. And so if we can use the same skill and say, whenever we say, I don't want to make that phone call, Within 60 seconds, we sit down and we pick up the phone and whatever happens is whatever happens at the other end. It, uh, I wrote a phrase down here somewhere. Lost it. It's in my scribbles, but it, it doesn't matter. Um, pick up the phone, make that call. Whatever happens at the other end happens at the other end. We can't plan for every single scenario. And the longer we... And the longer we take to take that action, the more scenarios we come up with. So if that's my takeaway from you, negative thought, things look positive within 60 seconds. You don't want to do something, you look at your bank account, call a boss, speak to the wife about the dent in the car, just, just do it. 60 seconds, just do it, go for it. And whatever happens, happens. Amen. So, yeah. uh, let me just, let me just uh, oh, piggyback so very, off. Really, yeah. That's true. Let me piggyback off that, John. He, he touched a lot on this without saying it like this, but you know, the more we focus on something, the more it grows. So if we continue to walk our fear and give it sunlight and give it oxygen and give it all, all our energy, it's going to come into bloom and then it's going to be so big that you can't pick. So why don't we, like John said, if, it, if you're going to focus on it, make sure you're focusing on the negative so that it's everything's growing up together. You know what I mean? Like we're not going to get rid of the fear. It's probably not how it is. It's, it's going to be able to overcome it in within 60 seconds and dive forward. And on that note, John, I am dealing currently with a marketing company and I've been kind of teeter tottering whether to get back to them. It's Sunday. I'm going to email them. I'm going to leave them a voicemail and I'm just jumping all in. Dump, jump into the deep end, baby. Let's go. Whatever happens, happens. Um, I think that's it. I think I did have something else to say. It's gone. We'll save it for another another show. But uh, as always, as always, thank you. We appreciate you. Subscribe wherever that subscribe button is. I think it's down there. Actually, it's down that side. Um, hit the subscribe, like, share, follow, whatever it is you people do. Uh, we thank you for your time. You could be anywhere in the world. So. Uh, Namaste from my spirit to your spirit. We will see you in the morrow.